It's Friday night and the gym at Mulholland Middle School is packed. Everyone here is pumped. Oh, score! Score! Wendy, score! 62 teams are here to participate in a robotics competition. Each team is hoping their robot will score the most points in rounds that last just 60 seconds. The competition is run as a friendly alliance where you meet a bunch of new students and all the robots are different, but all the robots are designed to accomplish the same challenge. You meet up with your alliance, you make your plan, you make your strategy, how together you can score the most points. I played sports my whole life and I think this was the smartest way for you to combine sports and education together. And it's one of the healthiest competitions I've ever seen because the kids have to work together to do well. Brandon Duplessis' son, Devin, is a sixth grader at Mulholland Middle School. It's the only robotics magnet school in the Los Angeles Unified School District. The fact that it's a public school allows so many more kids opportunity that wouldn't have it. Robotics and technologies and everything that we do now. So getting them started now will only set them up for better success later. Mulholland is in the San Fernando Valley. It wasn't always a school that inspired kids to dream of working at NASA. Enrollment was down by about 50% from its heyday when Principal Gregory Vallone saw an opportunity. The school is in a socioeconomically depressed area uh, and it needed something of a spark. So when we looked at what was out there uh, and we saw robotics, it was a natural. Uh, kids love robots. They love building robots. They love drawing robots. They love writing about robots. So it sort of fit. Two years after becoming a robotics magnet school, enrollment is climbing. And there's even a waiting list to get in. The students are extremely engaged in robotics. It's exciting. Um, it's um, set up in a way that they can learn and they learn at their own pace. They get really enthralled by the robot and they get excited when it accomplishes the tasks they're looking for it to do. Keep in mind, if a robot's given instructions and it can't complete them, it stops until it can complete them. Marcy Lewis was recruited by Principal Vallone to teach robotics, math, and science. She led the school's robotics team to third place in the California State Championships and then took them to compete in the World Championships. And every step of the way, she makes sure girls are involved. At first, the girls were shy. When they came in, they're like, eh, maybe this is more for boys. And I'm like, oh, no, it's so not for boys. I am so about girls and robotics. At Worlds, they made a big deal about the girl power. They had a physicist. They had a computer programmer. They had a rocket scientist, all females. Um, and the girls were like, wow, we really can do this. I'm like, absolutely, you can. Girl power! I always thought robotics about boys, but then I realized it's for everybody because it's not only about boys, it's about girls too, you know? Yeah, I love, I love building robots. I also like coding robots as well. So yeah, I'd like to have a career in that. Here at Mulholland, robotics is tied to every subject, from science to English to history, and of course, math. 12 inches is what? 12 inches is one foot, so how many inches is six feet? figuring out how far the robot goes for five seconds. So our robot went 79 uh, inches in five seconds. And then, then we have to find out the unit rate that goes in one second. Math and robotics is very much done through trial and error. Uh, it's all about effort and all about kids uh, experimenting until they get it right. So if I time uh, the time that it takes to go that distance by six, then it will equal the full length. The way we can tie it in, even if we just tie it in a little bit here and a little bit there, it seems to improve with uh, engagement as well as uh, behavior and group work. Some students are terrible with group work, but you give them a robot, you give them a laptop, and then they seem to get it together. If you go into our classrooms, you will see our kids really engaged with the content. They're not talking, they're not throwing spit wads or anything else. They're talking robotics, coding. Across the hall from Mr. Lula's math class, an English class is underway. Students are writing pro and con arguments, but with a twist. We're going to go back to our robotic papers, the pit bull ones. Either you want a pit bull, a robotic pit bull, or you're against it, but I still need to see the evidence from our, our reading. 
Sometimes, I, especially the first year, I had a hard time thinking about how am I going to tie robots into this. And then usually on the drive to work, because I live 45 minutes away, I go, oh man, I know how I can do it now. And so then I go with it. And so it, it's a little easier and it's exciting. The reason we're bringing it in, into every content area is that it's one, it's so easy. And it's important for kids to see connections because as they see connections with the other subjects, it connects in their brain and they actually learn as opposed to just remember what we teach them. Some other classes like computers, we also use robotics in that as well. It just gets us more prepared if we want to be doing robotics as a career. Running a robotics program and competitions like this one come with a cost. Mulholland is paying for it with money secured from discretionary bond funds. It also relies on donations from individuals, like retired software engineer Leroy Nelson, who got hooked on robotics when his sons competed back in 2001. My passion is to get more kids interested in science and engineering. I mean, a little known fact is we actually have more unfilled technology positions than we have unemployment, but we've got a mismatch because we don't have enough people trained in the fields that we need for science and engineering. If we don't fill that need, then our society as a whole is not going to thrive. I think this needs to become like the next big thing. This needs to be the next sport. I think this could be something that sets our children up for something much greater in life. Next year, not only are we going to have robots, but we're going into drones and submersibles. We're going into renewable energy, land, sea, and air, everything. When you talk about what we're bringing here, we're not trying to level the playing field. As you can see, we own the playing field. Young people studying robotics will have many career options. There's robotic engineers who design and oversee the building of a robot. Software developers make sure the robot performs the correct functions. Technicians are responsible for repairing and maintaining the robot's parts. And of course, we'll need operators to run the robots around the clock.